You don't want the first time that you've done something to be in an operational environment. You really need the ability to practice that first. Um, and the, the conditions that have been set on Cope North give people the ability to practice operational requirements in a really safe and controlled setting. I'm Wing Commander Liz Beston, the Exercise Control Director for Cope North 22 for the ground phase. Um, my team here at um, Anderson Air Force Base is in control of the setting the scenario and the scene for Cope North 22 for the humanitarian aid and disaster phase of the exercise. But again, it all depends on how we're doing for time. The 381 Contingency Response Squadron has the ability to deploy scalable and flexible air base support. For Cope North 22, 381 CRS combines with its counterparts in the um, Kokojaitai and the USAF to create a combined contingency response squadron. So I know we got some water in the tent over there. We need to consolidate. Our job is is to uh, provide uh, this side of the air bridge between Guam. Anderson Air Force Base and, and this location. I guess the, the main point is learning. We're here to learn, to absorb, to understand. We've made a conscious choice to integrate at all levels so that we can uh, maximise that cross-pollination of ideas not only for, for now, but for future operations or the potential for future of humanitarian uh, crises or, or other crises that may eventuate. Great, Liz! The ability for the three nations to operate in a, um, a medical response scenario is really important because on operations, um, the person next to you may not be from the same nation as you, um, or um, the team that is first available may be a multinational team. So the ability for us to create a scenario where the three nations can work together to respond to a, a mass casualty is really important to iron out some of those nuances between nations and the way we do business if we can do that in an exercise environment, then we have to do it for real in a humanitarian disaster relief environment, um, then it's very easy to know what to do.